Good day everyone, my name is Mariette, also known as the Boerenvrouw, and in today's tutorial I'm quickly going to show you how I join um, new yarns into my knitting and knit over the ends so that I don't have any weaving in to do after my project is finished. So you will see here that I'm knitting with two strands of yarn at the same time. And my one strand is almost finished. So in this case what I will do is I knit the new color in over 8 stitches and the old color in over the next 8 stitches. So what I will do is I'm going to keep on knitting with these two. But I'm going to introduce this new yarn. So I will put my needle in. And I will hold this yarn on that side and I will keep knitting on this side. I'll put my new yarn over the needle, yarn over and knit underneath the new yarn. You'll see it is trapped there in the stitch there. Then I will knit the next stitch as normal to trap it again you can see there I trap the yarn so the next stitch I'll knit as normal the next stitch I'll put this yarn over my needle again and then yarn over to trap it again next stitch is normal the next stitch I'll Bring this yarn over my needle, yarn over and knit, just a normal knit stitch, yarn over like that, yarn over, knit the stitch and then the next stitch I will just knit to secure that one in there. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my yarn that I've trapped in here. And I'm going to knit over this end. So I will simply take the yarn and bring it to this side. I will just knit the first stitch with the new yarn. And then I'll repeat the same process. Yarn over with the old yarn. Knit the stitch to trap it. Knit a normal stitch. The next one I will yarn over with the old yarn as well to trap it. And knit the next stitch. I will do that for 8 stitches. And then I have knitted in this end as well. And I've weaved, basically weaved it into the knitting as I go. Then I simply drop it and just carry on with my knitting as normal. So you will then see that all of these ends is knitted in. If I pull on it, you can see it's knitted into the stitches. So by the time your project is finished, you don't have to weave in any ends. They're all trapped into your knitting and you can just simply block the item and trim off the ends after it has been blocked and dried. So this is one method. So in this case where I've done this, this is a scrappy project so I don't need to worry about any jogging or anything. So when I do this on just a normal project, I do have to, where I have normal, just uh, plain stripes, I have to do a technique to prevent jogging. And I will also make a little tutorial about that and I will link it for you to watch next. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of my content. And I will see you in the next one. Until next time. Happy crafting.